Hello everyone, it's Frances with your Book of Memories. I've created a new project design. I cannot wait to show it to you. Welcome back everyone. And for all my new watchers, thank you so much for clicking this video. It's very wonderful to be here with you. I've created a new design and I'm just so excited to share it with you. You'll notice I have two here and they're wrapped differently. One with cardstock and one with design paper. I'm calling this one my pinwheel folio and I already have a tutorial available on my website and I'll leave it as a link down below. You may be familiar with the paper line, but check this out. Hey Girl by The Paper Studio. I purchased it at Hobby Lobby until it completely caught on fire and I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, quarantine, okay? So this is the last paper pack I bought in person. <laughs> um, <laughs> this paper line is absolutely fantastic. I was super excited when I was using it because it just has so many super happy colors right here on the front cover. Let's start out with this one. I've got this cute little girl that I fussy cut out and a couple flowers from my wonderful friend, Sarah Johnson as well as these little blings. I fussy cut this out and popped this Polaroid picture right off the page, which is just some dimensional foam tape. Again, thank you so much, Sarah. She got me some of this bling and there is a magnetic closure on here. Okay, so I'm super excited about that. And here's the sides of the book in the back. Here it goes. On the inside, we've got this really adorable, okay, little rounded thing here. And this just flips up and it's a deconstructed envelope. So check this out. We've got, oh my goodness, look. Adorable little girl here. She reminds me of my niece, Harlow. Okay, I love you, Harlow. I know you're watching this video. Okay, and here's some journaling on the back and you could fit a four by six photo in here. You can hold about 30 photos, I would say, in here. Okay, and if you utilized it right, you might be able to hold even more. So now with this band down, you lift this whole thing up here and you have more space in here. So you're probably wondering, why is it called a pinwheel folio? Well, as you flip, they start to uh, cascade over each other. So it's really cool. I fussy cut a lot of images out. We got the little eyelashes there. Of course, I had to use my Echo Park Wedding Bliss camera stamp right there from the Clear Mount Stamp Collection from Hobby Lobby. Okay, and you see how these start to kind of fold up. And there's another one. Okay, did you get a, did you get a look at that one? <laughs> and then these two right here and it just keeps going. And I just think it's so precious. I love this paper. I love the little buildings and little scribbles. I love that. That reminds me of my best friend, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Love you so much. And then here's the back. And this also reminds me of my friend, Jalissa. I miss her so much. And then I fussy cut this little guy out, okay? That is a boy leaf, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> and these all just fold back down. Just a friendly reminder, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and make sure the bell is on that way you don't miss a video. So this just closes back up like this. And then it moves us to the right panel right here. I absolutely love that. That's my sister Grace, okay? I named every, I gave an identity to each one of these girls. Okay, just, just in case you were wondering, okay? But first coffee, <laughs> I think that's adorable. And then this flips up again. Look at that. I don't recommend wake up and makeup. To be honest with you, all women are beautiful without makeup in my opinion. But you know what? Makeup's fun, okay? You don't need it though. I love all of you. Work hard, slay hard. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, look at this. So cute. Oh my gosh. Two little girls down here. All fussy cut out of the paper line itself. And relax. Okay, bingo. And of course, you can see how this kind of just... Mm-hmm. How cute is that? I love it. Okay, on to the next one. Let me know what your favorite feature of these books are and which one you like more. Do you like the design paper wrap or do you like the regular cardstock wrap? Okay, same thing, layered some elements on here. Wrap the same, here we go. And on the front and side cover right here, we got again, this deconstructed envelope and I added the same features in here. A couple things are upside down because I wasn't used to wrapping with actual design paper. There's some photo space in there. Totally customizable. It's limitless what you can do. All 
I just created my own little photo spots right there. And here's this one. Oh my goodness, I love it. There's some pen right there, just some blue pen. Some little mascaras. I used <laughs> crayon. My beautiful niece Harlow told me to use some crayon. She's so creative. Oh my goodness, I thought that looked adorable. I love that little addition. And here we go. Look at this. And then we've got the main attraction on the back. How cool, my goodness. Places for journaling. I just had so much fun making this. Remember, if you're not following me on my Facebook page, you will not be notified of coupons. So if you have been questioning to get a tutorial, you can get a nice coupon towards your tutorial. I'm going to be playing a tutorial trailer after this, and I cannot wait to show you my teaching style. And if it's something you can learn from, we can go hang out in the tutorial. See you next time. Bye. Hello my friend and thank you again so much for joining me. Welcome to the Pinwheel Folio tutorial. I am absolutely thrilled and excited to be here with you and I'm also so very grateful that you have once again invited me into your crafty space so we can do this together. Definitely gonna need a paper trimmer. Right here I have a blade, brand new, okay, for my paper. For some quick matting, we're just gonna need one roll of this little refill in here super duper strong liquid glue and even I can't make a mess when I use it. My giant Tim Holtz scissors. I also have one piece of medium weight chipboard. I also have about, let me see, maybe 10 to 15 sheets of lightweight eight and a half by 11 white cardstock. How cute is this? I'm just gonna flip through some of the pages. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Check out that, we got three pages of these. I have a couple embellishments that I may be using. I am so excited to use some bling pieces. So you'll notice there's more of a resistant side and then there's more of a bendy side in this long ways horizontal fashion. And all I'm gonna do is attach them together very simply by lining this right at the edge. Just one edge. The straighter the tape, the straighter the guy. Be easy on yourself. That's going to be lining the one and a half mark at the edge here. And I'm just going to leave myself a little bit of room. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. This is very fun, very simple. I'm just going to go around the outside edge. So let's get our first piece and prepare it by removing the back ends of the score tape right there. Very easy. And you guessed it, we're just going to leave an inch on the left side. Top of paper and top of the chipboard. Center down first. Diagonal, outward pulling motion. Now we have a total of two pieces, two inches by three and three quarters. Very simply, let's go ahead and cut out uh, three and three quarters right here with the scrap piece. Let's go two inches along the top for both, half an inch. If that's a style you'd like to go for, then it's a good habit to get in to fold toward the bumpy side of the score mark. Now only on these pieces right here, we will be mitering. And now if you've never heard what mitering is, that is totally 100% awesome. Just stick on the half inch flap from here and cut outward. And now just six pieces left, three and one sixteenth by four and one quarter. Now I have my ATG done handy as you can see. This is a very quick application right here. And this fits perfectly on this flap. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark from this corner I'm gonna go over to the right about an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna go down directly on top of our design paper. Let's go ahead and check how we did. And I did fantastic. You can just burnish it from this side once you stick that other one down. Beautiful. Look at that. It looks like a store made it. Look at that, beautiful. Here's the next one. Beautiful, same technique as last time. And look what we have done. Oh my goodness, now it's time to start decorating. I'm super excited. 